If you are looking for a decent option for some low cost lighting or RGB lighting for your streams or your YouTube videos, then the RGB floodlights and or spotlights from Olaphus might be for you. In this video, I will try to cover as many product features as I can for these RGB options, including how these lights can react to on-stream events on Twitch. Let's get into it. For a while, I've been in the market for some background RGB lighting for my YouTube videos and on occasion, my streams as well. Olaphus is a company that offers lots of low cost lighting options. Options that range from regular workshop lights all the way to lighting options for your home. And they even offer some RGB options for your home as well as in your office. The first device we're going to be looking at today is the four piece spotlight set. This is a very very affordable RGB lighting set. These lights have a 30,000 hour life expectancy. They are remote controlled only, so they cannot be operated by any mobile app. They're considered to be energy saving and they have a lighting angle of about 30 degrees. Inside the box, you're gonna get a product manual, which for this product is really not too necessary. You will get two remotes with this product, which is a little bit overkill because one remote will work for all of the lighting. So maybe this could be beneficial if you have them separated and in different locations. One thing to note about this is it does come with a spare battery for the remotes in the package. And also each remote itself comes with a battery included. There's also a small packet of mounting screws in here. And then you obviously have the four RGB spotlight devices. The movement angle of the spotlights themselves do have some really good rotation. They can pretty much hit any angle on the top side of the device itself. If using screws to mount this product to the wall is not a great option for you, then it shouldn't be a problem because these devices come with some 3M sticky tape on the bottom of them as well. So they can be mounted without needing to put any holes in your wall at all. All of these spotlights are powered by battery and it takes three AA batteries to be able to power each one of them. On the outside of the devices themselves, there's just one button on the side of it. And without the remote control itself, these lights can be powered on and they can be set to either red, green, or blue. So without the remotes, you only have three colored options and you also don't have any ability to dim the lights at all. Now the remotes that come with these devices is a very simple and easy to use remote. You have a simple on off switch and then you have the color options of just red, green, and blue. That's the only color options you get to switch to immediately. These devices do have a five stage brightness feature. So there's five different levels of brightness settings that you can use for each light. These remotes also have the fade function. This is just going to slowly fade between each of the colors in the color spectrum. And it also comes with a play pause button. This button can actually be used in conjunction with the fade feature and you can get any color that you want to shine from the light. You just have to hit the fade and have it cycle to the color that you want and then pause it on that setting and it will stay on that color until you change it to something else. There is also a speed setting on this remote as well. So when you're in the fade function and it's cycling between colors, you can use this speed setting to make the color cycle quicker or slower. And last but not least on this remote, there's also a timer feature, which there are four different timer settings. You can have these lights shut off in a half hour, one hour, two hour, or four hours. And one thing I did test with these lights is the synchronization. I put all of the lights into a fade and I turned the speed all the way down on all of them. And one thing to note is that the lighting colors for these devices will get out of sync in just a short amount of time. So if your desire is to have these lights fade all in synchronization, 
for a long period of time. It's just not something that you're going to get with these lights. They do, however, stay synchronized long enough to, for you to be able to pause them, which will allow you to have all four lights set at the same color if that's something that you want. Now, I ended up mounting these spotlights on my ceiling along the back wall behind me, and I have them angled at the back wall as well. I mounted these using just the 3M tape, and I put them about a foot away from the back wall and then evenly space them out along the entirety of that wall. Now, one thing to note about these lights is that they are pretty dim. Right now, they are on behind me. They're actually get, being overpowered by the floodlights that I have, as well as my key light that's in front of me. So that is something to consider. However, just in general, these are a great low cost option for just some really nice ambient lighting for your home office. And I'd have to say that one negative about these lights is that they do not have white lighting. Olifus does have spotlights that come in a white lighting only option. However, these RGB lights are colored only and they will not be white in any way. Moving on to the 25 watt smart floodlights from Olifus. These are really what I was looking for when I was in the market for some RGB lighting and I have been so satisfied with them so far. So these are a 25 watt 2000 lumen floodlight which have a 30,000 hour life expectancy just like the spotlights. These lights have a light beam angle of 120 degrees, so they do cover a wide area. Another thing to point out about these floodlights is that they have a water resistance rating of IP66, which means that they can be in water, but they can't be submersed in water. So you can actually use these lights outdoors as spotlights for your home and you can even throw some colors on your house during Christmas or Halloween. So it's a very versatile light in that way. Inside the box you get two product guides. One is a quick setup guide and the other is just a product manual and I figured out that you need both of them to be able to set up this device. Each of the lights come with a two and a quarter inch antenna which allows them to be connected to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The back of these lights have a heat sink look to them. However, they are not heat sinks. They are actually made of plastic on the back. Each one of these lights has a C-shaped bracket on it, which functions as a stand for the light. And they also come with mounting holes on them. And one thing to note about the mounting holes on it is that they are not threaded. So these lights actually can be used with a tripod, but you will need a wing nut to be able to secure it to the tripod itself because the mounting locations are not threaded. The dimensions of the lights themselves come in at about seven inches wide by just under five inches tall. If you're including the mounting hardware and the antenna, it comes in at about eight inches wide by seven inches tall. It also may be important to note that these lights do not come with a remote at all. So there is no remote included in the box. These only operate under a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. All of the lighting for these devices is controlled through the Smart Life app. And once you have them connected, the controls are really very easy. Along the top, you have options like white or color, or scenes. First, we're gonna look at the color options. Inside the color tab of this application, you get a nice little color wheel, which allows you to select any color in the color spectrum. You also get a brightness setting so that you can easily select how bright you want these lights to be. And there's also a shader option as well. So you can just easily select which shade of the color you want it to be as well. Jumping over to the white options for this application, you can quickly change from like a pure white light to a really soft, warm yellow light. And you also have the brightness options here as well. So you can make them dimmer if you need to. I will point out that these lights do get really bright when you're using the white option, and it's not even close to as bright when you have the colored option enabled. Jumping over to the scenes, here you get some just quick default scenes such as working, leisure, you get soft, and you get 
colorful and there's so many more options there and you can even edit and make your own. And if you have multiple devices set up with this Smart Life app, the home screen makes it very easy to quickly be able to just turn them all off and back on in just a few seconds. Okay, I wanna show you guys real quick what this light looks like as a key light. Now these floodlights are not initially designed to be a key light and to be in front of you. So if you are going to use it for this, make sure you buy a little light diffuser sock like the one I have here. They're only about $7 on Amazon and it will bring down the intensity of the light enough that you can put it in front of your face. And right now I have one set up about 45 degrees to my left and it's off currently. And the other light I actually currently have set up just sitting on the floor pointing at the wall behind me. Now normally when I film, I use nano leaf panels as my lighting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut those off real quick. So I've shut off my nano leaf panels and I'm currently using the Olaphus floodlight right now as my key light. So you can see with these two lights together, it's really all you need in the shot to make really good lighting for streaming or for YouTube videos. And if you throw in a cheap little ring light like this one I have here, if you add that light as a fill light, it adds even more depth to your shot. So I think more often than not, I'll be using a setup just like this where I have one color on each side of the room behind me and I can tweak those colors in any way I want. And now another really cool feature about these floodlights is that they are a smart home device, which means they're used to connect to the smart home network. So these lights can actually be controlled by some third party software, including Lumia Stream. That means that these lights can be used with your streaming platform and can actually react to things that happen on streams such as followers, subscribers, donations, which is going to give your viewers a little visual reward whenever they're interacting with your stream. I would say the biggest negative about these floodlights is the power cord. If you're going to have them any sort of distance away from an outlet, you are going to need an extension cord. They only come in at just a little bit over 34 inches long. So all in all, I really like these products a lot and I'm going to use them a lot in the future. And they're an absolute win for anybody who's looking for multi-purpose lighting to get their streams or their YouTube channels going. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys are considering these lights or if you guys have any other questions about them, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.